Okay, hello, this is just answering a email I got, which I thought I'd sort out quickly. I basically got asked how do I get the video quality as sharp as I got on my last video, and how did I record my sound whilst it was going. So I thought I'd quickly show you my settings and how I do it. So yeah, I'll quickly show you, if I open this up, um, you can see I've got two Sony iToy webcams you know, from the PS2, that's the old school one, and there's that one, which, well, it's, it's kind of the newest slimmer build, and I think they look quite a bit nicer really there, silver and, well, you know, a bit slimmer, better looking. So I simply put them on my desk and record sound with them. The microphone on them is great, and yeah, they do the job just perfectly. So what you need to do for that is go to your control panel. Uh -huh. Then go on to sound and make sure you set your recording input to one of the iToys. You can check, just click in front of it and see if the bar goes up. Test which one it is. That's the old one I'm tapping on now, and this one is the silver one, which I'm currently using. So as long as you set that as your default microphone, Hypercam will pick up on it. So that's the sound input sorted. Now I'll show you the Hypercam settings. That comes up because I'm already recording. But yeah, you'll see that. I've selected my whole screen, I did the select region bit and just dragged it over the lot. Then, you know, that sorts that out. I tell it to hide it while I record, so then, you know, this is obviously up because I've opened another Hypercam document, but yeah, normally it will just hide the window. Keep that off. It doesn't do anything helpful. If you're running Vista and you've got the opacity of that, you know, you can see the text file behind it there that will still record with that off so completely ignore that as it will just completely screw up your performance the hotkeys are fine you know they do what they do so ignore them really the avi files where it starts to get important um, make sure you set it to no more than 25 frames a second which is the standard ntsc settings um, i tried it on 30 which is the standard pal which is you know i'm from the uk so that's what i wanted to use but it, didn't, it wouldn't work and YouTube transmits in 25 frames a second anyway, so I suppose it wouldn't really have mattered, but anyway, yeah, 25 frames a second and a keyframe to each second if you can manage that with your processor. So make sure you set the frame compre compression to 100%, that lowers it by nothing, you get the best quality you can possibly manage out of your own computer. And then the next thing you need to worry about is, well, after you've made sure you click record sound, obviously, <laughs> but yeah. Um, change your video um, compressor to, if you've got it, the DivX codec, and I've bought the full pro version, but it will work with the free codec. But yeah, make sure you select that and click configure. Now, I use the 720HD, as I found that to just be too big and kind of pointless. So yeah, 720. And then slap bang in the middle of the presets. And I dropped that from 3000 to 2000, as I can't see a reduction in quality, but the file size is, well, a third smaller. So yeah, then go across to codec, and if your processor can manage it, put that on, and you know, enhance multi-threading if you can manage it too. And in video, make sure you have it no bigger than that, as that will enable it to be YouTube high quality, not HD obviously. But the the quality is completely legible, but it makes the file size forgivable for uploading, which I know can be really annoying. But yeah, that's pretty much that. And my sound kept going out of sync if I had it on 16 bit. So I've set it to 8 bit and it now appears to be fine. So yeah, 8 bit, 44,100. That's pretty much it, really. The other options I've told it to record cursor, but that's default. Um, yeah, buy a license if you like it. I know I haven't, but I'm a student and I'm skint. So yeah, if you want me to do a little tutorial on how to set up the iToy, just drop me a message and I'll tell you how to do that you can leave it as a comment or send me an email or whatever but yeah that is basically how I set up hypercam to record for my tutorials so thanks for watching I'll I've got something quite good come up soon so yeah I'll have something for you tomorrow so bye